So let's analyze question 18. 421 and 427, when divided by the same number, leave the same remainder 1. So the remainder is 1 in both cases. How many numbers can be used as a divisor in order to get the same remainder n? So that is what we need to find. So I'm going to analyze the question in more detail. So let's uh, let's uh, like analyze it further. So let's say you have 421. You're dividing this number by a number. Let's say I'm, I'm giving a variable for that. Let's say n. So 421, when you divide by n, you are getting a remainder as 1. Similarly, I'm also dividing 427 by the same number. Let's say I'm dividing it by the same number that is n. The remainder is also going to be the same. So this is the scenario we have. So I need to find how many possible values of n are there. Okay, That's what we need to find. Let's, let's analyze the first scenario. So from this scenario or from this case, we can conclude that Let's say if, if 421, when you divide by n, you are getting a remainder 1. Okay, that's a leftover. That means if I subtract 1 from 421, it is exactly divisible by n. Right, so 421 minus 1 is 420 is exactly divisible by n. Or I can say 420 is a multiple of n. Got it? 420 is a multiple of n. Or 420 is exactly divisible by n. Or I could say it's nothing but n is a factor. I'm using a concept of factor here. n is a factor of 420. Okay, from first case. Similarly, if I apply the same concept in the second scenario, that is 427, when you divide by n, the remainder is 1. That means if you subtract 1 from 427, that is 426, is exactly divisible by n. There is no remainder. That means I could say it's a multiple of n 426. 426, sorry. 426 is a multiple of n. Or I could say n is a factor. n is a factor of 426 as well. And the question is asking how many possible values of n are here. So what we know about n is n is a factor of 420 as well as 426. So n is so we can conclude that n is actually a common factor. N is actually a common factor of 420 and 426. And you don't need to count 1 here because 1 is always a common factor, but you cannot count 1. 1 is not counted, okay? Because if you divide any number by 1, you will not get a remainder 1. So you cannot count 1 other than 1. What are the common factors of 420 and 426? That is what the question is asking you to find. So what you can do is, you can prime factorize these numbers. Then you can find the common factors. That is the best way to solve it, okay? So let's prime factorize these numbers. Let's start with 420. So 420, if I prime factorize it, I'm writing starting with 4, 4 times uh, 105, 105 also you can split as 4 times uh, 5 times 21, then I'm prime factorizing it, 4 is 2 square times uh, 21 is 3 times 7 times 5, yeah. So this is the prime factorized form of 420. Similarly, I'm going to Prime factorize uh, 426, 426, no it's not divisible by 4, I can start with 2, so it's up to you, like you can uh, use your own approach to prime factorize it, okay, you don't need to follow the same, but the idea is how fast you can do it, that is that is better, so it's 2 times uh, 213, right, 213 is actually divisible by 3, because you can add them up, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is, uh, 3 plus 3 is 6, so it's a multiple of 3, so you can divide by 3 here, it's going to be 3 times uh, 71, 71 is actually a, a prime prime number, so you cannot proceed further, so this is a prime factorized form, okay. So what you can do here is, one, one approach is you can list down the common factors, okay, or so what are the common factors here? 2 is common. So I'm listing out the possible values of n. Okay. The common factors is 2 is common. Then individually if I pick 
3 is common. 3 is there in both. 2 times 3. 6 is common, right? See, you should not miss that. 2 times 3 is a 6. 6 is common in both. So, I could say 6 is a factor of 420 and 426. So, there are 3 possibilities. That's it. There are 3 factors here other than 1. Because there are 3 possible values of it here. 2, 3 or 6. Your answer is uh, option C is the right answer. Option C is the right answer. So, this is one approach. So, you don't need to find uh, the highest common factor or the greatest common uh, uh, factor. Why? Because the question is asking how many numbers can be used as a divisor. If you, if they are asking you to find what is the highest or what is the biggest number that can be used as a divisor, then you take the, you find out the uh, HCF. Or another way you can do it is you calculate the HCF, then you find out the factors of HCF. See, highest common factor is you list down the common factor to the highest power, right? So 2 is the common here and then 3 is also common, right? 2 times 3, 6 is the highest number, highest common factor, 6. But the question is asking about how many numbers are possible. So you are looking only for common factors. We are not looking for highest common factor. Okay. So that is a very important point in this question. You should be very careful in that. So we are looking only for common factors, not highest common factor. So the answer would be what are the common factors or what are the factors of 6? Any factors of 6 would be common to both. That's the idea. So the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. But 1 you don't need to count it as per the condition. So the answer is 2, 3 and 6. So this is also another you can either list down from here or you can use this approach. Find out the HCF and find out what are the factors of that number. Either way around, it's fine.